Good evening, everyone. This is Sean D. Lightaller, a.k.a. 50% Gray. It's midnight now, and Anthrocon starts tomorrow. None much. Just meet some friends and check in when the real fun begins on Friday. I pre-registered this year, so you won't hear me go WTF again. And before I go underway with whatever video I take, I wanted to make this one just a voiceover to explain myself further if you care to know. I'll explain myself by answering a few basic questions. Three in particular. Number one, why am I called 50% gray? It's a complicated answer really, but the reason why has evolved over time. At first I thought it would be a catchy handle nobody would use, you know? Who else, who else do you know on the internet that would go by that, by that nickname? I watched the animated short of the same name, 50% Grey, uh, here's a link to that by the way, and seeing how, how ironic it was, it gave, I gave it some thought as to why, I, why would I choose such a name? I really chose it because, well, I see myself in the middle of every opposite in the world, neither innocent or guilty, or, nor rich or poor nor smart or ignorant. You know, I'm just neutral. I wouldn't take a side. I go by my own beliefs and not let anybody, anybody, try to dominate me with theirs. A true American mindset it is. Unfortunately, such a neutral state of mind can be lonesome and mediocre. I find it hard to make friends or follow up with people I may depend on. I have autism. So, at least there is a clinical reason for that. That and my neutrality. If I am to be friends with people, they should be people who understand my mindset and are willing to help me overcome it for the sake of social conformity. In short, I walk the gray side of life. Neither a winner or a loser, nor a sinner or a worshipper. I'm independent this way. Question number two. Why do I draw furries? Because drawing furries and seeking refuge in furry fandom helps me forget about the trivial, although common, flaws of ordinary human beings. You know? The same can be said for any fandom like sci-fi and fantasy and anime. <laughs> Even Tupperware, for Pete's sake. But why furries specifically? Because I fear the affairs of human beings. You know, humans are too flawed, too corruptible, way out of touch with the earthly nature they were meant to be in since God created them. I believe that humans have grown out of touch with their planetary innocence, and those who adopt furry fandom are on the right track to keep in touch. You know, it's modern day shamanism to me. Taking the form of creatures not prone to the affairs of humans and becoming one with those creatures ourselves. Being one with the earth, in effect. I'm not saying I'm part of a secret cult. Rather, I'm part of a more open-minded culture whilst having a Christian foundation I received from my childhood. So I'm clean. Question number three. Do I consider myself a furry? Not at all. I may have the mindset of a furry behind the fursuit, but I chose to be strictly a furry artist. I am content with the species I'm at, as it puts me in the highest order of adaptation to the environment, and I keep myself open-minded this way. I mean, honestly, I couldn't afford a fursuit if I tried, nor would I imagine myself as a smelly, hairy, grungy man in a childish guise. I see myself as everyone perceives me to be, an artist who lives for the art of furry fandom itself. Anyway, I hope this little monologue has helped you understand me much better and that my videos of me at the con will be much more sensible and not just of some, of some idiot taking random shots. Okay, better get some sleep. Thanks for listening. Good night.